Yeah, it does look like we have, uh, yeah, Nugget's definitely a PR level player. Oh, Ooh. that's who this is. Okay, this is the <laughs> Robin that beat Wildfire. Oh, Wildfire is another PR player, right? Wildfire is, um, or used to be. Well, Wildfire was PR, um, whoa, like end of 2019. Oh, they got the tags wrong. Oh, I see. Wildfire was PR'd like end of 2019. He hasn't been PR'd since, but he's been borderline ever since then. So he's, he's pretty good, and he's also been grinding Wi-Fi uh, nonstop. <laughs> so definitely a good player. Um, but yeah, Sirspin was actually able to take him out in the Robin Ditto oh, here. The key to victory lies um, within. I'm not actually sure where they're from. I but mean, definitely very skilled with the character. And uh, Nuggets here is one of the most skilled players in this region at this matchup. Hmm. Um, because he and Wildfire used to play uh, every week for several hours. So <laughs> definitely is uh, someone who is practiced uh, in this matchup. So I want to see. Now you can win the Ditto, but can you beat uh, the Robin Slayer in this region? That's the question. Let's see. Is there any difference between Daisy and Peach? Um, so, right? There used to be. So when we found it, it was uh, like third. One had um, like more base knockback on their terms. One had more oh. knockback growth. And it took us like a year to find that. And then once we found it, they patched it. Wow. So now there's no difference between them. There used to be one, and then we found it, and they're like, nah, get out of there. <laughs> Same character. They're like, ah, shoot, we messed up. <laughs> All right. Like, kind of air and arc partner there. Um, although that could have caught an air dodge down, actually. That kind of makes sense. Yeah, and what we're going to see that's really important in this matchup is that Peach is actually one of the best characters in the game at uh, playing around um, Robin's arc fire traps at the ledge, right? Because they've got that float. Um, they've got, yeah, you know, really so tricky, many ways around it. Yeah, they've got really tricky yeah. uh, horizontal air mobility. So Peach can mix up, uh, the big thing is that Peach can mix up, uh, due to her float, the timing at which she grabs the ledge. And arc fire is only a guaranteed kill. Uh, at the ledge, if you hit it with the proper timing and also the proper spacing. Yep. So, definitely is going to be something that uh, Nuggets is very good at, and it's, uh, we will be seeing a lot of this set. Yep. Ooh, uh, good stuff there. Good, good punish. Good ledge pressure for sure, for sure, coming through from Nuggets. And now, we got a lead. Uh, and um, the big thing about Peach, right, in this game in general, in a lot of matchups, oh, uh, goes for the ladder, right? But. It's just so much going on right now. Big thing with Peach, right, is that I feel like if you have the lead uh, as Peach, um, against Peach in this game, then you're in a really good spot because the character is not that great at approaching. They have really good pressure once they get in, but yeah. she's not great at getting in in the first place. Um, but here we see that Nuggets actually has a lead, so that's an, a weakness of his character he does not need to worry about right now. Yeah. Uh, even against a character as good at camping as Robin. So, yeah, but I mean... We see this Robin, like, this Robin's obviously keeping his... Oh, he catches the double jump. Is he dead? Yeah, he is. Damn. Okay. That was really good. Amazing edge guarding sequence here from Nuggets. Uh, taking a commanding... Ooh! Three stack to one lead here, although... Uh, Surf Fan is going to go ahead and even that up with the Arc Fire F Smash Shield Break. That is real, but it's uh, very spacing specific. Mm -hmm. It only works at a very specific spacing uh, to the shield. Does Arc Fire be moving weird? Yo, three back airs! <laughs> <laughs> Four! <laughs> But like three and one true combo, like holy moly! I don't know, like like her her float canceling stuff is like it, it boggles my mind. I have no idea how it works. Hey hey hey! Float canceling is not in this game. It's a melee tech. Oh, it's a melee thing. Yeah, oh. I don't I don't want Zyvon like watching this bot <laughs> after and like coming for you. All right. I'm sorry. Yeah. But like like what, what I was trying to say is just like uh, uh, Peach is definitely a very technical again, character. We're gonna see um we're going to see Nuggets Di in there on the arc fire to not take the second one on the flat. This stuff for sure. Nair's a little bit high, it gets parried down to it. Okay. Really good pressure. Yeah, just disengage with the roll there. Oh. But cannot be charging Thunder in that mid-range uh, mm. from Peach. So that is the area that you want to be in uh, against Peach a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. Just because if you're too far away, they can pull turnips. If you're too close, then they can mash on you. Yeah. So that is the area that you want to be in with Peach, but you can't really commit to something like you know charging a projectile right. or throwing a laggy button. Like it, it was, it was, it, was like it was right spacing. It was just like wrong. Uh, Sli wrong slightly off decision making. Yeah. You know. Um, happens though. Yeah. Sticking with Robin, it sounds. No like. one's perfect, but we are gonna stick uh, with the same matchup here. Mm -hmm. We did not see the stage pick though. Um, oh, they're running it back. All right, back to PS2. Okay, not bad, not bad. Nice. That's arc fire. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I could have hit if she uh, dropped down, but it could have. Yeah. Oh, and it like wasn't really a risk, just because like arc firing from a side platform at round start, like they're not gonna be able to get to you in time for the most part. Yeah. So also, arc fire goes at a really weird angle sometimes. Yeah, it goes like down. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh. Wow. 
Wow. I guess just keeping up this pressure, like like he is not giving uh, Surfin like time to, to charge anything. No, like, not whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. That's Antio there with the jab, actually. Yeah. You never really see uh, that jab with Robin, unless it's better, and I'm just stupid. No, you, you see it pretty frequently. It's a good kill option um, at higher percents with the Arcfire version. Mm -hmm. Does decent damage with the Elwyn version, and then, um, you know, both versions come from a frame 4 jab 1, which is Robin's only real, like, good kind of frame data up close. So... Right, and this is a really scary situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Like, just that's that's a really scary situation for anyone who has a linear recovery without like a hitbox. So like Falcon, Robin, um, that Byleth? hit. Byleth kind of, but it's more difficult to react to. So like anybody like that has a hard time in that situation just because Peach can float there. Um, not quite as long as she wants, but pretty close to it. Oh, that's gonna be that. Yeah. <laughs> that was just, wow. Peach can just float there and then see when you come uh, toward the ledge and just try to two frame you with an air. Right, or even hit you before you grab the ledge. Uh -huh. He's gonna miss it there, obviously, but that's what's going on. <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. Yeah. Uh, damn. Again, just okay. like Nugget, just not giving any opportunity for. He's going here. all the way in right here. Gets yeah. the foot back, caught Ooh. with the arc fire, taking a light punish here though. Gonna even this game up more or less. Nah, that's Finn's kind of like where he wants to be here, but. Yep. Oh no. Nope. Really good pressure keeping uh, keeping Finn in the corner here. Going to be down throw two. No tech back air. Okay. Ooh, That's the fire. biggest thing I feel like. Because um, Robin's Dark Fire didn't used to go this far at the beginning of the game. right? And I feel like the biggest improvement, like the biggest usage of it, amazing Peach Plumber over the Arc Fire. <laughs> Yet another way that Peach can get around this Arc Fire pressure. But I feel like one of the big things about Arc Fire, right, is that now... Um, you can use it to like kind of stage trap your opponents, right? Like as you're recovering, and that's really scary. So very good use there um, from Finn uh, to use Arc Fire as a recovery tool. That's really neat. Yeah, because like obviously Nuggets with his float, he's gonna try to stay at the ledge as close as possible to Finn to try to knock him off. But yeah, exactly. There's just like honestly, this matchup just feels like Nuggets like playing around Arc Fire and just like like punishing every time. Mm -hmm. But there are situations where, where Finn is able to get his set setups in. And it's like raw backers and stuff, bro. How are we getting off the sledge? Okay. Mm -hmm. Get up, good stuff. Ooh. Yeah, that is yep. the Nugget special. Goes to the roll read with the up smash. Uh, roll's not gonna come out though. So he's gonna eat a heavy punish you know, from the Arcfire up smash um, of Finn's own there. But definitely has a solid, uh, solid lead here. Still, about 50%. This is at least one neutral opening, so. Definitely not not cause for concern just yet. Yeah, an Arcfire might be. Ooh, not bad. Arcfire in the up. nose. Basically evening the game up, yeah. Yeah. Just get straight. Oh, that was a good read. Yeah, good read on the roll in there. Um, the last time that uh, Finn was put into that situation with the uh, like the, uh, the back air pressure on shield, he actually rolled away. But this time he didn't have enough room to roll away because he was at the edge of the stage. So. Nuggets, uh, you know, paid attention to that, saw the roll in, um, and or figured he would roll in since he couldn't roll away. Yeah. And uh, goes ahead and covers that with an up smash, gets some nice damage. Oh, wow. Finn actually taking the lead a little bit. Yeah, slight lead here, actually, yeah. uh, for Finn. First lead of the set, mm -hmm. um, for sure. Definitely is one kill confirmed, one 11 aerial away from taking this game, sending us to a game number three. But if there's one thing you know from playing in this region, it is uh, Nuggets is very difficult to hit. That's so. true. Seeing like like just like very good movement yeah, all around the board. It's gonna be difficult, especially on this stage where he, where, where he has platforms to move around. For sure. See, that's what I'm talking about with the stage trapping, right? You um, you, know, you put that, put up that arc fire when you're trying to come back. It really makes them uh, respect the hitbox once it comes out. So ooh. But yeah. speaking of respect, Bring Nuggets back. not doing a good enough job of respecting uh, that loving quarter oh, there. He's gonna send us into a game number three. So. Very nice. Very clean comeback from Finn. Robin uh, telling us they're three steps ahead, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Wow. Stop the battle. <laughs> Easy. Robin. They're running it back one more time. Yep, that's what it looks like. I know these two guys don't really have other characters. So that checks out. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, it's getting into Smash Bros. this time. Right? Okay. Yeah, that's Smash Bros. Not bad. Ooh, good shield pressure. Really good pressure there, yeah. yeah. Peach can uh, float again for a few seconds, mm -hmm. so but she can also cancel it whenever she wants and drop back to the ground, right? So, uh, you know, mixing up those timings. Before, uh, he had been doing, like, one float aerial into landing on the ground. That time he stayed in the air for two full down airs and then pressed another one to catch the pull off out of shield. So that was really solid. Nice. That, that Peach down tilt is so scary to me, man. Down tilt like, is so good, dude. Yeah. Minus eight on shield leads to all of her best combos. Mm -hmm. Not that small. Um, so, yeah. Solid move for sure. That, that floating, like, back air, dude. It's so good. Exactly. That's minus two on shield, yeah. Mm. Really? Yeah, that is very good. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, is just not, the, uh, that is just not the situation you want to be, like you said. Dude. Yeah, that is the edge guard we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. He's, uh, you just like hang out there, and uh, you just dare Robin to up B. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to be that. Could have been a grab, but Arcfire was a little bit late there, so didn't have quite enough time. But that's going to be a stop. Ooh. Yep. Even it up again. Yep. Pretty, Pretty even game. Though, right? like, I know. Dead even game, but not if Nuggets has anything to say about it here. Yep. Wow, Finn actually hitting his, his setups now. Yeah, Finn, uh, Finn is definitely doing a very good job of hitting uh, hitting arc fire in mix-up situations, right? Because the move's really good in advantage. It's pretty bad in neutral a lot of the time. Um, but in any situation where the opponent has to guess, it's a really good whiff punishing tool. Um, just because it leads to so much damage, right? Yeah. So For definitely sure. good usage of the move coming through here from Finn. But he's out of a double jump and oh, oh, he gets Cyrus spotted. He might be able to make it back. Yep, no, he made it. Yep, was able to. Ooh, good. Yeah, uh, we need to see Nuggets stop just floating here by the ledge, um, you know, at, at arc fire off ledge range, because he's just going to get punished for it every time. Oh, yeah, there it is. Did you grab the book? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously floating at ledge with, with Peach or, or Daisy is, like, it, obviously, like, the one of the best ways to edge guard in this game, because it's, like, mm. such an unusual, like, technique. Yeah, but, but like, like, right there, like, floating yeah. at uh, roll distance, like, is just going to get you arc fire, and it's happened to him four times this set. Yeah. You know, like... You can chill out with that. Okay, really good there. Arc Thunder into the down smash, not being a true shield break anymore. Um, but still going to cover that roll in with the uh, Sour Spot. So good stuff. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> really nice early up there. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a swing that. And we're going to be in the same situation where, uh, you know, he Peach Bombers over the Arc Fire, get back to neutral. And now taking a commanding lead with the solid amount of extra credit on the second stop. Yeah, I'm noticing Finn is like... Uh, Kind of playing fire with fire. He's like going into to, to Nuggets more. Like he's not playing safe. He's pressing mad buttons. Yeah, yeah for sure. And uh, to his credit, it has worked like decently well this set. Yeah. Um, like this is a very close game number three, and we're in game number three. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely, it has not. It is. Uh, it has worked decently for sure. But a big part of that is because Nuggets has been so good at playing around the Robin zoning, right? Yeah. A lot of uh, like a lot of Robin's neutral game plan focuses on controlling the ground with Thunder variants, so that you want to jump and then swatting you out of the air with their superior aerials. And yeah. a lot of the time, um, we'll see, like here, we'll see them, uh, we'll see Finn start pressing these thunders, but um, Nuggets didn't really take the air there, you know? Yeah. He just found his way in closer to the ground. Oh, oh. Well, that could have been it. Maybe, and, I don't know. And when that happens, uh, that kind of shuts down a lot of uh, a lot of Robin's way kind of to zone you in neutral, mm -hmm. so then they kind of have to uh, fight you up close. Oh, and there's another arc fire. Oh. That wouldn't have killed even if he'd gotten the uh, confirmed, but it would have been a lot of damage. Yeah, for sure. Like, obviously, like like you said. Oh, is that that's gonna that's take it? it. Wow. wow, amazing. That was a very good set, though. That was some good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, but Dimitri is going to go ahead and leave me here. So uh, I'm uh, I'm. Put your